is Jeremy and John with the Disc Jockey News. Tonight, we are looking at the American DJ Sweeper Beam LED. This is a really cool light, Jeremy. I've been playing with it here today in the office, and I'm really impressed with this guy. Tell me about what you like about it, uh, maybe the three things you like about it the most. Okay, well I'm a big fan of, first off, white light. Sure. White, in this particular case, is white in a pin that will cut through if there's a little bit of haze or fog, or even in a, a, a non-haze fog room. I just love white light for some reason. I don't know, it's a weird thing for me. That's okay. Secondly is, the this has, has basically Y movement. Okay. It's going back and forth, but I can control the speed of this. So if I wanted to basically do a nice slow sweep, I can do that. So okay. for like a, a more of a romantic dance, I can have it slowly sweeping, or if I want to go faster, I can. Sure. This is number two. Number three, I can choose the degree angle. Okay. So it can go from basically all the way, you know, I think it's a 210 degree sweep was what it can do. Wow. But let's say that we wanted to have it in front of us on yeah. the floor. We can choose to have it just so it sweeps forward and up to like 90 degrees sure. and back down. So it's not going to come and get us in the face. Or if we were have it on the back wall behind mm -hmm. us, we can have it so it sweeps up the wall and okay. back down, so it's never sweeping through us. And that's really kind of cool. So it's got different angle beams. That you, I mean, if you just want to go 90 degrees, yep. that's all you get, and then back again. Exactly. With okay. DMX control, Okay. Um, it can be run in different, I don't remember if it's, uh, there, uh, there's one one uh, DMX ch uh, channel, and six is the one that I've been using. Okay. I've been playing with it. Got it. But then you can actually do more where you can actually do some some like pixel mapping, for better way to, you know, like a better way to describe it. Sure. Where you can control each individual light, and you can control the pan and the tilt and the speed and, and what, everything. Now, cutting through a little bit of fog, a little bit of haze, even when you're not using fog and haze, how many watts are we looking at per light? Well, we've got eight lights here, okay. PT8, and they are three watt, and these are Cree LEDs. So the Cree is a little bit brighter than the stuff that when the first LED lights came out, sure. you know, we were looking at those little 10 millimeter. Yeah, yeah. The Cree giving us a much brighter, I mean, this, if it hits you in the eye, it's going to be, in a, yeah, it's, it's bright. It's going to be like a pin spot hitting you in the eye. Exactly, okay, exactly. A three watt pin spot hitting you right in the eye. Sure. And, which, of course, you know, if you have it over the heads of the guests or something like that, never a problem, and it gives you a great effect. Absolutely, the absolutely. Yeah. Great for schools, great for weddings. Oh, yeah. And absolutely, a, a, maybe even a favorite for a club. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Having multiple mm -hmm. of these around mm -hmm. the room where you can have it so it sweeps up um, and down, or you want it to maybe sweep to illuminate a specific thing, sure. such as the DJ booth. If you had them on the sides and the top, and you wanted to sweep in to kind of draw attention and back and just a lot of cool I love it. A lot yeah, of, yeah, really cool. Are we going to take a look at the different functions with, with the DMX control? Yeah, let's let's do that. I want okay. to show a couple of things with that. So okay. we'll just pop pop over here. We've got Fantastic. our DMX controller. And uh, it, again, it's running off six channels right now. Okay. Um, this particular one, if I want to do some manual control, this would be on, on channel one. Okay. Basically, channel one will allow us to do some manual control. Got it. Yeah, it's no fun. So if you want to point it somewhere and just leave it, you could do that right now. Right, right. If I wanted to point it at your shirt, I can move it to your shirt, mm -hmm. and then I go to channel four, and I go to full on. Oh, then all eight are eliminated. And all eight are on, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then Got I can it. control those if I needed to or wanted to do some fun stuff with that. Perfect. But I'm going to move it back into more of a chase, a chase mode here. Okay. I think, uh, where am I at? Right there. And now it should do some... But here's the part I wanted to show you. Um, we, we've got the where we can choose the degree movement. So I'm going to set it to, uh, like doing from 30 degrees to 150 degrees. Okay. I'm trying to get it set there. So I go to the DMX range, which would be approximately 100. And as everybody can see at home, it is chasing as John's doing this. Yep, I've got the so, chase, chase set. And I can choose one of 16 different chases right now. So right. it's doing, uh, just to be specific for, for this one, it is doing chase 10. Okay. That means absolutely nothing to any of us, but it's chase 10. That's what the base chase 10 means. <laughs> uh, so, so I can control another, right now, of Ooh, course, it's very it's, bright. It's very bright, but it's, yeah. it isn't panning all the way. You'll see that it's, it's <coughs> just short of all the way. Sure. Because I've got it set, again, from 30 to 150. Um, let, I'm going to move it to another setting where we're actually going to use the 0 to 90. Okay. So let's pop through over to that. So now it's resetting itself, and now it should be just basically sweeping towards me going from zero degrees up to 90 and back down again. So me DJing here, let's say I've got my truss on top of me and I've got this basically hanging down. So I can just have it sweep the crowd up just enough and then go right back down. Precisely. Yes, you Very can cool. get it. And then again, the DMX control. Yep. Maybe we wanted to make it sweep faster. 
Oh, that's got some pretty good speed to it. Yeah, exactly. You can sweep, you can just slow it. Again, I, I'm kind of, the, I like to sweep the crowd with, with uh, during slow dances with kind of a slower light. Sure. So, you know, I'd probably be the guy who'd be like doing this, this speed most of the night or slower. But to give you that, that crazier party feel, you can definitely do that. And again, it's, we're just controlling it with six channels of DMX right now. So if you went to the larger, you know, more control, or if you're doing software, you can do incredible things with this. But very simple right now, and it's still being able to do a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. Um, the, the final thing is, we were talking how bright this is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was dimmed down. Now we are at full brightness. Oh, wow, I can totally tell. Especially looking on the ceiling and doing the patterns. There's patterns going on on the ceiling, which you at home can't see, but it's, it, it is hitting the, uh, the lens of the camera really well and it's very bright, as, yeah. you can, as you can tell. Exactly, yeah, yeah. I, had the, I had the dimmer down to about 20%. I guess I wasn't aware that it's so low. Sure. And even at 20%, it was very, very bright. Yeah, very low noise, and there you can see it, it uh, do some chasing on the back wall. Yep, yep. I'm gonna move it down here, and we will adjust our strobe, there we go, we're solid on right okay, there. Okay, so, okay, perfect. And now just to show the dimmability, we bring it down with our dimmer, and basically taking it down to nothing, so. Sure. But yeah, a very, a very neat light from ADJ. This is the Sweeper Beam, the Sweeper Beam LED. We'll put a link in the description below so you can find out more about this light from cool. ADJ. All right, thanks so much.